Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate to you the differences between four different knit stitches uh, in loom knitting. I've made the four pieces using this small 24 peg round loom. And the aim is to show you the gauge and the pattern of uh, four different uh, knitting methods. Um, I'll start from with this one, it's uh, E-wrap. And I've used the same um, super bulky um, yarn for all the four pieces. Um, as you can see here is my um, cast on row and my cast off row. I'm going to measure each, uh, each of the piece um, to show you, to give you an idea about um, the size of the finished um, piece. Please keep in mind if you're using a smaller weight yarn, your piece might be slightly smaller than, than mine. Um, so for this E-wrap one, um, lengthwise, because this is direction I'm, I'm knitting, lengthwise is about three inch, inches, and the widthwise, again, is about three inches as well. So that's the E-wrap. It's very popular um, knitting method in, in loom knitting. So I use that as a um, reference. The next one I'm going to show you is the true knit. As you can see, the um, the stitches, the pattern are a little bit different. And this true knit, well, as in its name, it, it matches better with a um, hand knitted piece um, in terms of the um, probably tightness and the um, the actual shape of the pattern. Um, in terms of measurement, um, for this piece I've got if 10 rows and 10 stitches I achieved about two and a half inches lengthwise and about just a shy of three inches width wise so a bit smaller than the e-wrap technique. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is U-wrap. This one is made using the U-wrap technique. Um, and you can see it's a bit tighter than the true knit. Also a lot tighter than the E-wrap. And in terms of measurement, um, with U-wrap you have about two inch um, lengthwise with 10 rows of knitting and a bit um, a little bit over two and a half inches widthwise uh, for 10 stitches. The last one I'm going to show you is flat knit. It's also very tight um, um, compared to the other three and if I'm going to measure it so the um, lengthwise is also about two inches very similar to the U-wrap piece and the um, widthwise again similar to the U-wrap is about um, two and a half inches widthwise so yeah, so here you go. That's the comparison between four different popular um, knitting um, techniques in loom knitting. And um, depending on uh, what you're trying to uh, make and also what uh, weight of yarn you're using. So for these two techniques, the E-wrap and True Knit, um, I would say it works better with um, chunky and super, or super chunky yarns. Um, anything too light weighted might look really loose, but if you're trying to achieve a really loose sort of pattern, then it might be what you are looking for. Um, for the other two um, techniques, the, the U-wrap and the flat knit, um, they can handle a little bit finer um, weight of yarn um, but one thing you will notice once you start um, knitting 
is that they, they won't look like this once you just take them off from the loom. It needs a bit of stretch of the project of the fabric after um, after you knitting it, which makes it difficult in a sense if you um, have a certain length of knitting you want to achieve and you want to check where you are because you wouldn't know how long it is until you actually finish it and stretch it. So in that, uh, in that sense, you probably need a little bit planning, like getting a small piece like this, just to understand the gauge and then you can start to project and you, you would have a set, uh, a fixed set of number of rows you're going to make and, and you know you're going to achieve roughly um, the desired length. But with this, um, the two first, the, the, the first two um, stitches, basically, um, I don't need to stretch it after I take them off the loom. It's pretty much just like like this, lengthwise and widthwise. So um, if I want to measure it on the go, then I don't need to worry about it's going to be very different to what I expect it to be. Um, so he, he, here we go. That's all my... Um, information I'd like to share today and I hope this helped you um, to have a visual comparison of different knitting techniques in using a loom and I hope it can help you to choose the right um, knitting method for your project. Thank you.